Masai are an ilotic ethnic group inhabiting central and southern parts of Kenya and northern Tanzania. <laughs> They are among the Kenyan tribes known for their distinctive customs and dressing code. The Maasai Morans are known for their aggressiveness and fearless trait as this is believed to be necessitated by their pastoralist life. sasa hii mambo ya warani ya Masai ni, ni kitu ambayo kama kama ni watu ambayo naaminika kabisa ambayo watu wanaasa kulinda inji kwa inji wa Masai alafu una, kwa, kwa wanyama unalinda una unalinda una wase ile kongwe kina mama na watoto hata 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 mvugo hiyo warani sasa ndio ndio naanda hata hiyo naanda kutumia hiyo madawa naletea wa wase nyumbani hata hiyo kina mama pia anaasa kutumia kwa kwa kula chochote ambayo sasa na kulanga ugonjwa haiwezi patikana The Maasais have remained conservative of their traditions and customs for centuries and many of their ceremonies revolve around conformity to customs including Enkipata or senior boys ceremony, Emrata circumcision ceremony, Enkiama marriage ceremony, Eunoto warrior shaving ceremony, Eunoto ekule milk drinking ceremony, Enkango Nkir, meat eating ceremony. Olngesher, junior shaving ceremony. Eudoto, earlobe ceremony. And Ilkipirat, leg fire max ceremony. Traditionally, boys and girls must undergo these initiations for them to form age sets 
transitioning them to adulthood. But there is one unique ceremony here in Kango Nkir, meat eating ceremony. This ceremony is attended by initiated junior elders and the senior elders. The young boys and girls are prohibited from accessing this site. <laughs> to begin with, the owner of the hunt selects the bull that is to be used for the ritual. But the senior elders must give consent on this. And in case they reject the selected animal, a replacement must be done immediately. <laughs> the meat ceremony permits warriors to eat by themselves. The meat prepared by women of the homestead. A special chosen bull is slaughtered for the ceremony by a special person chosen by the elders, who must be 50 years of age and above. The slaughtering exercise must be done earlier than 6 a.m., for it is a ritual of its own kind. In Inkatai village Kajiado, a sacrificial bull is laid to the slaughter, oblivious to the fact that today will be its last moments on earth. For the elders and their attendants, they can't wait to pray on their feast. The elders take over the exercise in discharging what they call slaying the sacrificial bull. Bold masculine morans hold the animal firm to ensure nothing occurs during this exercise, as it is a dreadful moment both for the animal and those taking it to its demise. The bull is then struck by a sharp sparkling white sword at the center of the skull, penetrating deeper into the nerve, making it numb. This is believed not to cause any trauma to the animal during the slaughter. A deafening, mowing sound of the bull pierces the village. One can only imagine the pain it's undergoing. <laughs> The second sword slits open the artery underneath its throat, paving way for it to bleed profusely as the blood is stopped by the warriors. The collected blood is drunk by the warriors, which is believed to boost their boldness in facing fierce wild animals while hunting. <laughs> Mita <laughs> The rest is mixed traditional herbs to prevent it from clotting and drunk by the senior elders. Women are forbidden from accessing the slaughter place, and if they do so, a curse will befall them that will run from several generations. Kutukichinja ngombe ya mambuzi, mama hawezi enda pali mechinjua mbuzi. Kwa sababu, kuna wale wakuli mafuta, ile ambayo wa mama wameona, na wakuli nyama, ile wa mama wameona, 
kwa sababu wanaamini hii skirt ya chini hii wanajifunga ya red ni mbaya ni, ni mbaya sana wa mama akiwa amefunga hiyo skirt na amefunga ile mshipi ya tumbo akienda pale ni mbaya itakuwa huyo mzee ame itakuwa mbaya kwa rika yake maana haitakuwa amekula nyama imeonekana na wa mama maana hiyo shuka ni mbaya mama akifunga naende pale the feasting ceremony begins and women must prove to their husbands they haven't engaged in an illegal sexual affair with a man of the younger age set whether this has occurred or not will be revealed by participating in the bull skinning ritual <laughs> Later, the skin will be preserved to be used to make special rings that will be worn by Morans during their initiation. After the skinning, the meat is divided into portions based on the customs. First, a portion for those who partook in the slaughtering is set aside. This is the first two ribs on both sides of the bull, while the third rib is left to those who aided in skinning. The remaining ribs will be eaten by the elders. Women are forbidden from eating this part of the meat. A cooking place is then set far away from the slaughter place, and men are forbidden from getting closer to this place. <laughs> na mara nyingine mara nyingine mama kijifungua sasa nyingine anajifungua anajikuta hana masiwa ya kutosha lakini anapochinjiwa apate kwanza anachinjiwa apate hiyo ma, mafuta lazima kunye hiyo mafuta ndio baridi simpite sisi tunaamini ya kwamba mtu akijifungua apotese hiyo damu akipatwa na baridi inaweza muaffect lakini akikunywa hiyo mafuta baridi itamuipata kwa mwili na anapojifungua wiki ya kwanza unakuta mama hana masiwa lakini anapokunywa hiyo supu maana hiyo supu iko na dawa tuko na dawa ambayo unajua kimwekea mama mzazi itateremsha masiwa na iwezi affect mtoto kwa hivyo mara mama kijifungua lazima hapewe hiyo mafuta na apewe hiyo hiyo supu traditional herbs are harvested by a specialist mzee olenkarain he is the only one who is authorized to do this exercise he is the only one who knows the type of the trees used in this ceremony. The herbs are helpful in increasing the appetite, which is vital consumption during the ceremony. Sisi, mamsai yote kama anakula hiyo nyama choma, unakulanga lakini hakuna ugonjwa ambaye anaweza kupata sababu ya ya hii mamiti shamba. Anapigwa alafu kama anaiva na poa alafu naendelea sasa kukunywa kama maji. Kwa hiyo sasa ndio wanasaidia hiyo Wamasai awesi pata ile ugonjwa ambayo nyama wa choma. Tuseme umechinja mbuzi. Alafu hizo madawa zote unaweka kwa sufuria. Alafu unapika supu, unachanganya nayo. Hiyo madawa ukikunya wiki moja hata unaanza hata mwili inakuwa sawa. Sasa ingine mtu kama anakuletea test kidogo hivi. Sasa unaona sasa hata mori, unapata mori hapo. Unakuwa unatetemeka hizo madawa kama kokola ukikula sa, ukikula sana eh, alafu eh, na ngiloriti hiyo ikiteremsha hiyo chakula inaisha fire is lit and pieces of meat hanging on sticks are tucked around the fire as the roasting starts Meanwhile Women are busy preparing the rest of the meat for the young. <laughs> this portion of meat is cooked without spices or salt. The elders say it is according to the customs which cannot be contravened.
Masai hawezi kulanga nyama kwa chumbi sababu hii, hii nyama iko na tamu zaidi hata bila chumbi iko na tamu sana kwa hiyo sasa Masai hawezi tumianga hiyo nyama kwa chumbi kama si amechomeka hapa mstuni hawezi tumia kwa nini kwa chumbi kwa hiyo sasa hii kabila yetu kama Masai hata sisi naonekana ile kabila singine ambaye anatumia na chumbi unashangaa sababu hiyo Masai hawezi tumika kwa chumbi for the kids they are a portion soft pieces of meat mixed blood and sweet potatoes the meal is called munono tuko natengeneza munono hapa na na mechinja ngombe mbili na mbusi kadhaa sasa maana hii hii maana hii ni munono ile watu ambaye mechinja mfanya kasi hapa ndio wanaendelea sasa kukula kwa hiyo sasa kusubiria saa hii kitu kama naifa alafu ndio wanaendelea sasa ile watu wamefanya kasi alafu wale amfanya kasi ndio na nakula <laughs> lakini wale wengine tu anaasa kula lakini ile saa hii inadhaikana ni watu ambao wamefanya hii kasi ndio wanataka yukula hii, hii sofria the meat for the special guests is roasted and kept on top of the tree in a special nest made of twigs hii nyama ambayo imechomea hapa ni nyama ni nyama ni nyama ambayo ni wakubwa ambayo imekaribisha kwa hii herehe ya kanzala kwa hiyo sasa mheshimiwa yote ambaye ndiko anakuja na hii nyama sasa iko mahali imetengewa eh kikaa ile mheshimiwa ambaye anaingia alafu ndio wanaendelea sasa kukula na hata wase ile okongwe na kijana lakini ile kina mama imetengea hiyo mahali lingine lingine kile ile kina mama wakubwa ambayo sasa wanakaribisha kwa hii boma hata pia tuko pamoja na hawa na naendelea sasa kukula hii nyama from the young to the old the feasting goes on <tos> Reporting for Culture Quest, I'm Levis Nsumba.